Oh, I'm sorry. DJ Prey Pro had no sound coming out. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to show you what could be the problem if you're getting no sound at a DJ Pro. So watch this video till the end. Okay, so there's many reasons why you could be not getting any audio from your iPad when you're trying to play songs from DJ Pro. And some of them are simple, and some of them are complex. So the first thing is you could have a fader turned down that you can't see on the screen that you currently are on. So what? 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 we have what? this one on. What? Now it's off, off. And now if we switch to the waveform view, we cannot see that slider anymore. So you could have had this turned down and now in the waveform view, you're wondering, oh, there's no songs, there's no sound coming out and you have no idea why. And it simply is just because it's a slider that you can't see in that screen. In DJ Pro, there's different screens and then you have accesses to different functions. So in this two deck screen with the library open at the bottom, we cannot see the sliders. If you hit the mixer section, then you can see the sliders. So if we go up over to the looper mode, now we still can't see the... Oh, they gave us sliders up here. Was that in two deck mode? Two deck mode. We are in this view. To get out of this view, you go over here. And no. So that's one reason you could not see the faders. Same thing in one deck mode. Let's go back to classic mode. So if you guys have no volume coming out of your iPad, check all of these faders, check the cross fader, and you can just simply have a volume fader down. This is also something to keep in mind when you're doing auto mix. So in two deck mode, you could go over here, turn auto mix on. When auto mix does the transitions, if you watch it, all the transitions are live on the screen. So if you have one of these faders all the way down and one up and you start an auto mix and then you go over to this screen, you're going to have no idea that a fader is down. And then when it goes to the deck with the fader down, there's going to be no music coming out of the, you're going to have dead silence and it's going to completely ruin the vibe of the party. So whenever you set to auto mix, make sure you have all of your faders up. Now, another thing that could be happening that will cause your DJ Pro to have no audio coming out is effects. So let's say that we have one of these effects. This is the echo out effect. So this is what it sounds like. And now it is echoed out. So if you go to press this play on this song again, it's already out. So the song is already out and you could be wondering why there's no volume. So let's say that you're in the mixer mode and you're wondering, oh my God, why is there no volume coming out? And you can't physically see that you have this effect on. So any of the out effects is going to completely get rid of all the audio once it's echoed out. So that would be the reverb out. And then another one that does it is, let's see, vinyl break. So this one's gonna do like a vinyl breaking noise. So let's hear it. And now it is already the vinyl. That's like if someone puts their hand on the record or turns the motor off. And now if you go to play it again, it's because this effect is on, it thinks that you that it's already took out the sound. So you, you're gonna use these effects for transitions. So you put on that effect and now you're out of the song and you're transitioned. But make sure when you go back in that you don't have these effects that already been used up on because they will make it so that you have absolutely no volume coming out of the iPad, which is called a tomato, which is the worst thing you want to do as a DJ. Now, another effect that could be causing you to have no volume coming out of your iPad is the filters. So 
if you filter something all the way down with the low pass filter, once it's all the way down, there'll be absolutely no sound coming out because you filtered everything out. Now, if you filter it the other way with the high pass filter, it's going to be the same thing because you filtered it out all the way. And if you can't see that part of the screen, you're going to have no idea that there's no volume coming out. And now that we're in the looper section, be careful of this little slider down here. You could have that turned down and then you could set all these loops and no volume will come out because you have that looper all the way down. So there, it's probably not something wrong with your iPad. It's probably not something wrong with your app. It's probably just simply you have one of these sliders down, something that is going on that is preventing music from coming out because you cannot see it. DJ Pro managed to fit so many features, so many effects, so many different screens, so many different modes in order to do all these professional DJ mixes and all this stuff in with just an iPad and without any other expensive equipment. So the one downside is going to be visibility because you only get a certain amount of room on the screen and now it's limited real estate so they had to hide some stuff and hide some screens in different windows and stuff like that so that you get all these features but you just have to be aware that if you're using DJ Pro especially just with the iPad you're going to be switching from screen to screen and just make sure that you're aware of all the stuff that each of the screen does. Now, another thing that could be causing no audio to come out of your headphones, like if you're DJing and you wanna use your headphones with a controller like this that has a headphones port and your headphones are plugged in, but you're not hearing anything out of the headphones, this could be caused and you go to settings and you don't see your headphones in there at all this could be because even if you have your iPad hardwired into a speaker, if that speaker offers Bluetooth and your iPad is connected to the Bluetooth of the speaker and it's connected hardwired, it's going to think that you're just playing the music through Bluetooth and it's not going to allow you to use your headphones. This happened to me a couple times. I would be all ready, get, setting up my gig, getting everything ready to play the first song, and I would do a sound test and be listening to my headphones and because my PA speakers also had Bluetooth, it was connected to the Bluetooth and it took me so long and I got so frustrated trying to figure out why I can't use my headphones when I have a gig. And the reason was it was connected with Bluetooth. So you could just simply go here and you could exit out of your Bluetooth so you know for sure that you don't have, that you're not connecting to anyone's Bluetooth because it could mess up your DJ set. Another thing, to keep in mind is make sure that your wires are plugged in good. The less wires are better and make sure you get high quality wires. Don't get like wires from the dollar store or places like that because then your audio is not going to be consistent and it could have and it could affect the quality of the music that you're playing. Also make sure that uh, that your iPad the volume hasn't been all the way down. Sometimes if you're using a, a stand or a case to have your iPad stand up and then you move it a certain way, it could hit the volume button and it could be having the volume go all the way down. Now, another thing to keep in my mind involving volume and output of DJ Pro is make sure that you put your iPad on silent mode so that you won't get any notifications while you're DJing. Cause it's really embarrassing if you're DJing and then you get like the notification that you got a message or you got an email or you got this and that because it's going to dramatically reduce the volume of the music and it, to let you know that you have a message. So DJ Pro has it programmed that if you have your iPad on silent mode, it will still play the music and it will still play what you want to play out of the app, but any other app that's not DJ Pro would it will not give you the notification sound. Another thing that you might want to do is get rid of like Facebook notifications, Instagram notifications that are going to come up on the screen that you could accidentally click. So that's happened to me before. I had a notification from Facebook for a video, or I think it might have been YouTube, 
and then I accidentally, while I was DJing, I clicked it, and then it started playing the YouTube video, and it was really embarrassing, and that's not what people wanted to hear. They wanted to hear music. So you could just go into your settings, and you could temporarily, temporarily turn off those notifications so that your screen will not have anything that you could accidentally press to ruin your set. So I hope this helped you solve your problem of not having any audio in DJ Pro. If it's any specific problems that you need help with, feel free to ask me a question. I try to get back to all the questions that I can answer. And if you like learning everything new about DJ Pro, subscribe to this channel. I make DJ videos every day.